three million two thousand and two. What? Sorry, I was talking to my future self from the end of this video. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Don't worry about it, Percy. He believes he can communicate with his future self. I don't know why or when. Ha ha! Yes, he is. Ooh, 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 ooh. Let's jump straight into it. The trailer I want to show you is a sequel to a very funny film starring Bruce Willis, Red 2. And judging from this preview, it's looking just as fun. Almost all the cast return with the obvious exception of Morgan Freeman, which is fine because he's in everything else these days. But with the addition of the Mask of Zorro stars, Catherine Zeta-Jones and Anthony Hopkins. You know you can click here to watch that trailer, right? The movie's UK release date is set for the 2nd of August. Wait, that's this week. My future self from next month has informed me that the film is good and you gave it a... Be quiet. Now, I don't normally review albums, but seeing as I got it on the day of its release, I had to. The soundtrack to Man of Steel. And of course, I've got the limited deluxe edition. And boy, is it worth every penny. Just listening to the track entitled Flight gives me goosebumps. Masterfully done by Hans Zimmer, who at the moment seems to do no wrong. With help from a lot of friends, including none other than Junkie XL and Pharrell Williams. Is that how you say his name? Pharrell? 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 From the rolling of the drums, to the roaring drone sounds, and those rambustic sounds that I can't quite explain, this makes the hair on the back of my neck stand to attention. Zimmer just improves with every passing movie. There is literally no bad song on the album. However, two things do strike me about it. It does seem to be a bit repetitive and none of the tracks play in the sequence of the movie itself. Which, as you know, annoys the hell out of me. But I can't complain as it's one of those rare soundtracks that never leaves my CD player. And is permanently on my iPod. And just so you know, this is the double album. You can get the single one too. But where's the fun in that? You only get half the music. Now it's time for a movie review, or in this case, two. The first one is Now You See Me. The film boasts a wonderful cast, an intriguing story, and enough action to glue your eyes to the screen. Like this. However, you must watch carefully, otherwise you'll lose the plot as it jumps from one set piece to the next. The four main characters are not actually the main characters as we spend more time following Mark Ruffalo's FBI agent. And the main problem with this movie is that there is no character development. We are basically asked to accept these people for what they are. These slight niggles doesn't stop the film from being an entertaining romp. Yep, I said romp. There's a lot of humour, spectacle and surprises. Overall, I give this film a... And a biscuit for the smart casting choices. And finally, Pacific Rim. It doesn't matter about the story, it's the action that makes this film awesome. Mostly. Because of all the CGI, sometimes you can't see what is happening, but that's just a minority of it. The rest has you go up in like a teenage boy seeing a naked woman for the first time. Trust me, I know. Half the cast seemed to take the film seriously, while the other half didn't, namely Ron Perlman. But seeing Torchwood's Burn Gorman in it was a treat. And don't leave as soon as the end credits start rolling, because there is a little bit more. Pacific Rim is one of those rare movies that you enjoy, despite it being saturated with special effects. I give this film a... But no biscuit, because Ron Perlman was surprisingly bad for once. Hey, past self. I've just talked to myself from the year 3 million 2002. He's just jealous. Nah, he's just remembering what he said earlier and answering it now to make us believe that he's talking with his past self. Don't worry Percy, I'm sure his batteries will run out soon. They almost run out three days from now, but I was able to recharge them by going into the basement. I'm not worried. Jump cut. He will be now. Until the next time, peace out. I didn't see that one coming. It does seem to get a bit repetitive and none of the tracks seem to play in the sequence of the movie. I'm getting whole hot and sweaty. That's not good. However, you must watch carefully otherwise you'll lose the plot as it jumps from one set piece to the next. I'm losing the plot myself. Pacific Rim is one of those rare movies that you enjoy. With help from a lot of... The four main characters are not actually the main characters as we spend more... As we spend more. I need to be more wordy. <laughs> wordy? <laughs> I need to convey better. I'm hot, I'm sweaty, I have wet pits. Yada yada yada, done. <laughs> Thanks, Percy. Mm -hmm.